You are the center of your universe. Everything that you experience comes through your senses, your sight, your hearing, your feeling, all those senses, your sixth sense even, that intuition or whatever you think the sixth sense is, maybe you see ghosts. I don't know, that'd be pretty cool. But at the end of the day, no matter where we come from or who we are, we are the receptacles for all which we see and experience and appreciate in life. That which we love and adore are things that tend to remind us of us or who we would like to be. Those things that we don't like tend to be things that remind us of like our bad side or things that we don't want and all of that stuff. And the biggest challenge that we face in life is how do we honor that which we would like in order to create our lives with purpose, intention, integrity, love, faith, magic, whatever it is you want to call it. It's like the biggest challenge is in a world where we're used to struggle and difficulties and not getting what we would like. How do we get what we would like? <laughs> I'm Latia and these are the types of things that I like to ponder on. I feel like lately especially I've been reading this book Emotional Detox by Sherri Ann Boyle and what is coming up for me in this journey is that I feel more present in my body. I feel like I'm able to like relax and like, oh, just feel like, wow, like I am alive. And I, the biggest impact of this is that in moments where I usually react to things and I get frustrated and I'm just like, oh, you suck, this is bad. Why are we doing this, blah, blah, blah. It's like, instead I can like breathe, you know, I'm reacting to something. What am I reacting to? Is that how I would like to respond? No. Okay. What do I need to do? <laughs> that has like been my response to things lately. And even with like my biggest challenges, I think the most interesting thing that's come up for me is that in the face of having been like hurt or triggered by someone, instead of being like blaming and mean towards them, I was able to just be like, you know what? I know you're doing the best that you can. And I know that I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at the things that what you did brought up. So it's not what the, it's not the trigger, it's the releasing of the pattern that comes after it. And I know that like sometimes I write letters to God because I'm just like, God, like, what's up? Like, are we in this or not? Nah? And even though everything that like I read and believe about God is like, God just is like in everything. God's in every atom, molecule. God might be an entity. God might just be energy. Like I don't know specifically what God is, but I do believe in a God that is a higher power that is the framework for which our entire universe exists. Like all the natural laws, gravitational pull, gravity in general, but gravity between like heavenly bodies and planets and like all the stuff. Like that, like the perfection of science, scientific laws and like what we've discovered and like molecules and all the molecular structure like i'm just like there has to be a guy like there has to be a higher power that like organized all of this like structure out of like the chaos of what could have been like the fact that we are people and can think and talk and communicate and really like align with each other like even for how bad communication usually is the fact that we can be aligned as often as we are is pretty incredible but when it comes down to it the challenge is like owning our role. So I say that to say, I wrote, I was writing God letters and I was just like, man, what I feel after the, writing these letters, I don't like. And in the book, Emotional Detox, she talks about how she wrote a note from herself from God. And I was like, you know what? What if I write a letter to myself as though I'm God? Cause at the end of the day, God is whatever I want God to be. And if God is in me, then it's like, why not? I have that power. So this morning I wrote myself a note from God as myself playing God, whatever. And in this letter, I was just able to go over the things that were frustrating me and how I could acknowledge that I'm just in an emotional pattern. And my emotional pattern is it, like challenging because what I tend to notice are gaps. So I'm really good at gap analysis. Like if you show me a process, a business, a structure, a plan, Whatever you want to show me, I can look at it. I can get a feel for what's going on. I can see relationships and trends. I can notice like what's working, what's not working. And I'm also 
pretty decent at like contingency planning and like being able to see what the the downstream is going to be so i can tell like in an environment that i'm in it's very reactive so it's like up oh, something broke we got to fix it up oh, this happened now we got to do this and it's like very much triggered by like out external forces so there's very little proactivity there's very little space to like process and like really think things through and there's also like an unwillingness to think things through or have these conversations so there's a lot of siloing there's a lot of like individualization and not much teamwork and for me i'm like part of that works for how i used to be because i used to be very reactive like i mean i'm still working through that but it's like to react to things is the natural state like not natural that is what we're taught we are taught to react to fear out of fear through fear act like we're not fearful when we're really fearful and then like be like no that's your fault like i'm not doing anything you're the crazy person like that's how we operate and it's not bad it's neither good nor bad we all have our choice and free will so do as you please if you want to live a difficult life you can live a difficult life like that's how free we are we are so free we can choose to be enslaved that's how free we are and the challenge with freedom is responsibility it's ownership it's choosing because you have to choose like if i'm not going to react to fear and be small and you know be afraid and difficult which it tends to be for me because like when you notice gaps and you're willing to talk about them i'm not always like trying to be negative it's just like that that just doesn't work like there are very few ways in which this is going to work out in the way that you would like it to work out and i'm just trying to let you know before it breaks like hey what what would we like to do to like prevent this and like the challenge is that like when people are reactive then they see you as a problem for bringing like awareness to this issue instead of owning like oh yeah like let's think about that and then like i'm not the type of person where people trust because like i don't give a crap i'm just like i am here for my paper i don't care about this like y'all are dumb like this is stupid so i'm like i can understand why you'd be like latia's just judging us and being mean and it's like yes it's probably how you feel yes that's probably what i'm doing from your perspective even though everyone tries to be like oh no you have good intentions i believe you're doing the best you can that's bs and we all know it like if people don't feel connected to you they don't feel connected to you and there's no sugarcoating it and it's not bad it's like why would i why would i trust you if i don't feel like you're trustworthy if i don't feel that connection with you and like that's the problem sometimes is like if you're too reactive you're not going to develop those relationships so you're going to feel like you're an enemy amongst your teammates and like you just don't belong and that is never a healthy place to be like if i'm like i don't know I think she's sleeping with the enemy like I don't want to mess with her it you, you can't give your all but at the end of the day it's not about them and what they're doing it's about me and how I would like to show up and what can I use this opportunity for and for me personally it's like all right what if we stop judging so much what if we choose to have faith that everything's going to be okay what if we just let these things slide and just like i can recognize it and own it on my own and see what i and my strength can do and who can i talk to about these things and at the same time if they are if they choose to react once things break even if i called it it's just like all right here's a solution here's what we can do now this thing has happened and it, there's proof that i know what i'm talking about versus me trying to like plan and like manipulate it's just like who cares at the end of the day where i would like to be is my day job pays my bills and i start building my job as a side gig and in my part-time job i get the power control freedom autonomy to do the gap analysis and to notice like all right this is gonna be good this isn't here's my contingency plan and like i got this and it's like i'm not getting that space in my day job and i'm okay with that that's why youtube I thought I was doing YouTube so I could like be of service to you and like help you out and make you feel good about yourself. No, it's so I can express myself and my truth. And if you connect and resonate with it, thank you. I appreciate that. And if you don't, thank you. I appreciate you being here even though you don't enjoy this. Like, wow, that's amazing. Cause like, as I realized the way I use YouTube videos is either it's a lately it's been like books being read it's like conversations with god outwitting the devil i've like listened to some of those on tape i started listening to a podcast on a website about career tools and manager tools because i would like to develop skills and 
my business skills suck. But then, um, like, if I'm looking up something specific, like how to do something, then I kind of just like watch for how to do the thing. I might rewatch so I can like do it with them. But for the most part, it's just like, like YouTube, it's like listening to stuff or like keeping my computer open while stuff is loading because like that's how we roll. But um, but yeah, it's it's about like how can I live the best life for me? How can I start taking care of myself first? How do I have healthy boundaries where Latia is okay? And right now I've been so critical of myself, I can't function. And so it's like, let's be compassionate towards myself and let's extend it to those around me. Cause at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. We're all just gonna, you know, stop existing. Yeah, say that casually. But I, I don't know, I'm just feeling like, all right, Latia Asgard, I see where you're coming from. Great letter, probably gonna reread it before I head out to my day and just be like, all right, let's do something different. Let's see if we can truly and deeply break these emotional patterns that I've been living into. Cause like, I can be super enthusiastic, but it's more like a temporary state versus just me really deeply connecting to that enthusiasm from God in like every moment. And that's the state that I love to live in cause me when I'm enthusiastic is a beautiful thing. Me in general is a beautiful thing. Let's be like very honest about it. I just love me some me. And yeah, so have a wonderful day. If you watch this to the end, thanks for watching. Thank you. I really appreciate you taking the time out to listen to me as I rant with my beautiful plant in my room before I start my day. Thank you.